This is Code.org. Let's see what we're doing. The social media post class manages profiles and posts on a social media platform. Ooh. It has a method create message. That creates and returns a string containing the username and message they want to post. Okay, so we have Grace Hopper here. Create message, and we print out uh, the message. That makes sense. Let's see. Ooh, and it even works. Fancy. All right. Override uh, <clears throat> the Javi post class is a social media post that manages profiles and posts on the social media platform Javi. Override the create message method from the social media post class to check if a message is greater than 140. Okay, so we have Javi post. Oh, create message. All right, but if we're overriding it, it must exist. And it does right here. So this is the thing we're overriding. Since I'm overriding this, guys, I'm actually going to copy the whole thing because I want to remember what it looks like. And I'm going to be dangerous and just smack paste. So there we are. There's the message in it. Well, the method in its entirety. Okay. And now this is the method we're going to be overriding. Now keep in mind, what does override mean? Override means that it exists in a parent class, but we are recreating it in a subclass. Meaning whenever we run it, uh, whenever the an instantiated version of the subclass, an instantiation of the subclass runs it, what's get executed? Well, the subclass's version, not the parent class's version. But even if we do have an object or that is the parent class, we still know that that method's there regardless. So here we are. Now, the distinction here is our create message in our subclass, our Javi post, needs to be conditionally checking if a string is 140 characters. Too bad a certain social media app or site who shall not be named updated theirs to 280 characters, but regardless, and they updated that like years ago, it doesn't matter. All right, if, and it's Twitter hip because I'm not hip, probably not. All right, uh, if message.length, now keep in mind guys, it's a string, so we need the parentheses behind it to check, is greater than 140. If it is greater than 140, what are we going to do? Well, it's asking us that we don't allow it, right? We only want a message that is less than 140. So if I want to really get specific here, I could just reassign message, honestly. But I might do string message under 140, right? And I could set that equal to message. This is somewhat redundant, but if you want to do it, sure. And then if the length is greater than 140, what I'll do is I'll say this will be equal to this dot substring. Now, keep in mind with our substring, and if you forget documentation, Java, and then strings. Keep in mind with substring, it's the start and the end. So if I just put 140 in here, it would only be the last 140 characters. So instead, I'm going to do 0 to 140 because I want the first 140 characters. Great. Now, this is where it gets not complicated, but complicated. We have like nine different ways we can fulfill the requirements for this. So I need to return the message and the username. However, the username is going set in the parent class. Username is a private variable. It's an instance variable of the parent class, meaning this right here will fail. I don't have the username saved in the subclass. It's in the parent and it's private. We do have a getter method right here. So I could use that. I could do, you know, return get username. And if I want to be really specific for clarity's sake, I could say super to let it know, hey, I mean the parent class. That should work just fine. I could also do though, boom, boom. This, I could just do this, running the create message method of the parent class, the one that we're overriding here. And I might do that so I don't even have to worry about the username. I can just pass this the message and get the whole thing back. Uh, keep in mind that, uh, no, I would need super here so it knows which one I'm asking it to run. This is another way to solve it. Right. And you could also do it. So uh, let's see. I You could put an else in here. Right. Maybe you want to do it that way. Else. And then you do this. 
if the message is good to go, and then you do this, if it's not, there's a hundred ways to do this and be correct, to be super duper clear on that. So I'm gonna do it this way because I like it. Keep in mind what this part of it does, it runs the method that we are overriding of the parent class. That's what's going on there. All right, now instantiate a Java post object, sure. Boom, and I need to pass it a parameter. I will pass it Kaiser because, you know, the username, right? Boop, boop, username, Kaiser. I just did a thumbs up, I don't know why. You can't see me, but it was cool. All right, and then uh, I'll do, for read readability's sake, I'll say string result equals, do, 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 do. I'm gonna do my Javi post.create message. And then I'm gonna pass it this whole long thing that they prepared for us, why not? And then all I'm gonna go ahead and do is system dot out. And maybe I'll do, I don't know, message. I don't know, I'm just being weird. To distinguish my new message, maybe from what was already there. Oh, and then of course I have to actually do result. All right, let's see what I broke. Woo! Okay, so here's the original message, right? They have the social media class. They instantiated a media account uh, as an object. Grace Hopper's their username, and they print out this whole thing. Here's mine, where I put message before it, which isn't required. Kaiser, ta-da, username. And I should be posting out the next 140 characters, which I am not doing, because I did something wrong. Aha! We want, so I made that weird variable, and then I didn't use it. Message under 140. Perfect. And this is looking much more reasonable. Now, I could also, I mean, there's a million ways to do this. I could have just reassigned. I don't need this at all, of course. I could just do message, message, message. Something like this would be fine as well. And so it's whatever fits you best. There's a lot of different ways to be correct with this because that's how code is. It's a logical puzzle as there's certainly ways to be wrong, but there's not always just one correct way. Anyways, cool. Onward.